We get away from the authorities. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, I can get you there. Excellent. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait because our uh, one of our companions is unfortunately ill at the moment. So uh, we're going to have to uh, spend some time waiting until he gets better. Well, I need to buy some armor. Go buy some armor. Yeah. So it, it, won't we... Uh, Judging from the inflation in the city, so, uh, you know... Uh, mm, that's true. Pay a couple hundred gold pieces for a suit of armor. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I need. I, yeah, it's be it's better than nothing. I'm I'm gonna ask the barkeep if he knows anywhere that sells armor in the t town. Okay, so you you uh you kind of like tss, tss, over the the barkeep and and he comes over to you. He gets in real close and and, and looks at you. What? Jesus Christ. D I'm um, sorry. I, I, I just want to inquire, do you know anywhere that sells armor in, in town? Well, you're not going to find armor here. If you want armor, you have to go up to one of the big cities. Uh, okay, thank you for your time. I, 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 he, he, I, sco I, he scoffs, I shakes his head, and walks I, away. I flick him a silver coin uh, before, before, he, <laughs> before he walked away. He, <laughs> he had already turned away. The silver coin <laughs> hits him in the side of the face. <laughs> it falls to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 lo he looks at you, bends down, he picks it up, puts it in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> like, just slowly, like, his eyes go, his eyes go narrow, and he just, like, he just... No, I just said that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh what, my! What was that? Oh, what was that? It's easy. He's trying to make the twelve with a human. He apparently hasn't done a, a human male yet. A portly old human male who probably smells like old beer. Well, I thought he'd done lots of that actually in his line of work. Uh, okay, so, um, a gig's a gig. <laughs> so the three the three of you are left in, left in the tavern. Um, Arlox, you now know that you you could find armor, but it's it it's it's not you're not gonna find it heading south to Smuggler's Run. You'd have to head north to one of the larger cities. Um, <sighs> Snow has the rot and and can't make a journey of that of 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 really any magnitude like that. What about if we get Kavara to stay and look after Snow while we? Go to Smuggler's Run and then come back. That's doable. Well, there's no so point in going to Smuggler's Run than coming back because our our point of departure would be Smuggler's Run. Um, well, aren't we just going to talk and see if there is a way, and then? Yeah, but Luke didn't go to go to Moss Eisley then back home. <laughs> well, didn't? No, no, you're right. No, he went to Ben's, then came back home and saw his dead by our parents. Then Uncles. went to Moss Eisley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then went to Moss Eisley. <laughs> yeah, then. then so I guess Eisley. I guess the analogy here is you have to you have to go to the cemetery where Elric is, come back, find the dead rest of the party, and then go to Smuggler's <laughs> Run, and then you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. We, we can well, I, I, guys, a bigger I, sight radius because you now have a larger understanding of the surrounding area. Okay. Um. My I God, I can see the edge of the map. I do think we need to uh, <laughs> meet Elric in three hours, though, and um, we do? see if we can... Well, should Smuggler's Run fall through, the guy has a good understanding of the area and of where we want to get back to. Where did he go? So, where is he at? He he has gone to visit the grave of his wife. Um, he told wife me to meet buried him. here? Yes, uh, he was a mercenary, and... Um, he uh, obviously married up here, and yeah, she died recently, uh, relatively recently, for the for the life of an elf, anyway. Um, so, yeah, we well, it, it'd be good to have him along, like especially as he can give us. Like, should smugglers run fall through, we have a guide, therefore. Well, Cos point at Coswin. Like, we got one right there. Yeah, but he doesn't know where we're from. No offense, Coswin. <laughs> so I'm taken. No. <laughs> well, well, You're unworldly. We're... Don't know where I'm from. <laughs> Fuck you, too. <laughs> you, you, 
to be fair, you did tie me up the first time we met, so... Mm, to be fair, you were robbing a grave. <laughs> to be fair, no, we weren't. Uh... <laughs> that shield says otherwise. <laughs> Your mum says otherwise. I hope he's um... not saying that too loudly. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't. <laughs> Because I don't really feel too good. Temper doesn't feel very compelled to go all the way up to like another city just to go get a suit of armor. Uh, That's not what I'm, gonna, I'm talking about. For art locks. I mean, it's kind of like. I, yeah, I'm, I'm I feel okay like he's with... just kind of like hanging out until, you know, snow is better, you know, or seeking out some kind of healing for him. You know, is there an apothecary here at all in, in this town? Because it's beyond my skill to heal. He needs Elvis you medicine. Just, just... <laughs> well, you have a, you have yeah. one and a half elves. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a sick. yeah. The amount of elf in this party has gone up threefold. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you are you asking that to the bartender to Coswin? Coswin first. Coswin. He's got Finra. Uh, uh, we need to we need to fix that. <laughs> I, 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 don't, uh, I don't I don't know. If if this village has any uh, any of that, since I uh, yeah I, I don't know. You'd yeah, be, be better off asking now. the bartender. Who has the bartender now? Who's been an asshole? <laughs> or the innkeeper, whatever the fuck he is. All right, so um, <laughs> you're you're you're. you're you're, you 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 wave him over again in my very educated polite tone so he he he's more apt to talk to you mm. in, in a polite tone mm. come he walks up to you racist yes yes, yes. I'm looking for a healer or apothecary is there one in town uh, a he an, an apothecary no 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 we don't have anything like that we don't have anything like that. where uh, where can I find one uh, for, for for an apothecary, you'd have to head north to Ostia. If you just want some herbal medicine, you could try the smugglers to the south. Kind of shitty smugglers. They're kind of known everywhere. <laughs> they're kind of bad smugglers, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe they're quite beloved. <laughs> Maybe it's like, a, Maybe it's like Maybe it's a, a pirate prince or something in charge of the town or something. Like <laughs> I guess. They just, they just call it a smuggler. It was just, just like a trade prince is really what he is. Trade prince is all really. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's really more of a title. Okay, well, if if that's uh, right, well, smugglers, hourly services, any illegal things you need done, come to Smugglers <laughs> Run. <laughs> oh, you got the voice finally. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, there it is. If, okay, if we if we need to seek the services of a healer, then which we need to we need to. Otherwise, if he's got a, a resurgence of the rot, you know, because that's that's something that will be a problem. For snow, we will eventually kill um, him. If it, if it is indeed the, the the rot, you'd have three days to heal. Okay, well we should probably go get some healing stuff then from her. From the, it's always her. Snow's Sorry, Whatever. I keep thinking of the player. Uh, to heal her, we're gonna have to go get some some you know a, like a care package from one of the healers in the north. Then it sounds like so we're gonna have to go to the north. One of those protein shakes from the smugglers. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll reveal a little more about where we are to if we go north to uh, more noble. Smugglers run smuggling services. <laughs> to more more noble. Oh, uh... Crazy Eddie. <laughs> Wacky wavy flabbly arm flabbly too bad. More more noble uh, uh, bastions, uh, perhaps. <laughs> I'm crazy Eddie. You need anything smuggled? Women, men. It doesn't matter <laughs> as long as it needs to get there undetected. As long as this doesn't count. <laughs> oh wow! All right, guys. <laughs> Tiber wants to go north. Tiber wants to go north. I will travel north. Or, wait, you would travel north. I would travel Are you north. Going? However, they please. they want to head north because Artlox wants armor, and Bob's interested, or Tyburn's interested in more civilized lands. He's more interested in dealing with uh, an apothecary than you know, like uh, a smuggler with a with a bag of weed. I, I do feel bad that we're just like completely blowing off this elf that's offered his service to uh, help us. Uh, well, if uh, we can wait for what was the fellow's name, Elric? Yeah, Elric. We'll meet we can, him. We can at wait three for the south. We can wait for him to uh, to come back, and then he can help us get to the north. Okay. Elric's not coming back. He asked you to meet him outside. Yeah, of I, I'll, I'll meet him at the south gate. Thanks, we'll meet him there then. 
We would inform Kavara of uh, what's going on and be like, yeah. K Kavara, Kavara uh, says she will stay to protect Snoo. Sorry, you yeah. will. Because uh, they, they, you guys definitely notice the e extreme hostility towards the demon. <laughs> the extreme hostility to the two and, people that we've and the left dragon behind. guarding her. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna hide out in the room. Uh, all right. So what are you guys doing? Um. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure my stomach is full, and then I'm gonna go wait. I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm right, gonna so go. You just we're just gonna wait the three hours, and then and then head to the meeting point. Well, I'm gonna head to the meeting point first, and then wait the three hours there. All right. So, um, you get up to uh, to exit the bar, and uh, before you get to the door, the gentleman who's been eye fucking you this whole time steps in front of you. You got a pretty mouth. Sticks his finger. Sticks his fingers in your chest and goes, "Where do you think you're going?" To to Artlocks, me or Coswin? Artlocks, the one leaving. Mm. Um, where do I think I'm going? Uh, Coswin gets his staff out from uh, from under his robe. It's it's not much more. He's actually got it at the ready. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I am gonna be going outside uh, because I've got things to do. Away from you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the the gentleman he 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 leans in so that you know your faces are kind of side by side, and he puts his hand on the back of the head, and in the back of your head, and he goes, "We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way." Whoa! You gotta negotiate a price first. His buddy. two, his the the two guys who was with him stand up. Um, I you should lean in softly uh... and kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> You do whatever you want. <laughs> I am... totally do like a sharp thing on him. Just like going for just a kiss. You should just do that. I, I'm just, I'm just gonna lick his face. Uh, uh Coswin's gonna, Coswin's gonna see this happening and, uh, and, uh, very, uh, very noticeably walk up behind the group, I guess, of, uh, uh, well, the way this is, 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 um, the, the first gentleman, the most notable one, he's standing in front of the door facing art locks and off to the side are the two guys who've just stood up from the table, but they haven't moved, but they're about 12 feet off to one side. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get behind art lock. Like, I'm going to walk up behind okay. art lock and like, like right up, like, like, not right up. Like I'm going to be, I'm his... going to be noticeably on his side. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so let's let, gonna, let's say you grab. you get up from your table um, and you walk kind of towards the bar, but in a diagonal fashion. So you're heading towards the edge of the bar, closer to our box. I'm gonna just take the guy. Kind of try to be inconspicuous. So the uh, oh, no, I don't want to be inconspicuous. I want to be as oh, intimidating. Oh, fuck that then. You just walk up right behind him. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I want to be I'm, as I'm, intimidating as fucking possible. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, take the guy's these hand and, say, and give it like from from the back of my hand and just say, "Honey, you couldn't afford it." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. Oh. Um. We go with it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh, oh. All. All right. Um. Didn't see that one coming. But you think really? Because I saw that coming. From wow. Give me a persuasion check. Uh. Me. Okay. Uh, um. I. I get <laughs> I double. Persuade. I get double my proficiency bonus to this, so, uh, uh, yeah. So that's gonna be a, uh, 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 is it definitely double? Just double checking it's double. Uh, but I got expertise. Yeah, doubled. So instead of a, 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 a plus, what is it, a two? Instead of a plus two that I'm getting from my proficiency. So 17? Yeah. All right, so uh, he, 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 he leans back and he goes, easy way it is. And he puts his arm around you and just guides you over to a table and he sits you down with him and the two other gentlemen who also kind of, you see them kind of relax a little bit and they all sit down. And uh, he, uh, he, lo he looks at you and he goes, I know it was you because you walked down on the sheet with the shield on your back, but didn't cover it up until after you got down to the bar. <laughs> he saw the shield on your back. Fair. He know he knows that it was you, and he recognizes the emblem on it. He go he said so. He goes, "I know it was you. I know that you you and your group are the ones they're looking for. 
He looks around the bar again. He looks behind him at the group of people he was gambling with. He goes, okay, the easy way is that you Are do something for me. Are we all this conversation? You, well, uh, at, at the moment, nobody else has joined. None of you else have joined him. He, you, he's alone at the table, and this conversation is going on. I'm just going to You guys can walk by, up. If, I think, for now. There's no and, violence and, and broken out or anything. Yeah, surprisingly. Um, you do something for me. I do something for you. Okay. I want to hear it. He looks around again, back at the people behind him. I'm in a substantial amount of debt with the people who you don't want to be in any debt with. Right. And unfortunately, my skills as a hunter are outweighed by my love of the dice. Uh, so I need you. <laughs> play cards then. <laughs> I need you to help me with a particularly valuable prey. And in exchange, I will not turn you into the authorities. What is the prey? Well, Ruru has it that there is a green dragon that lives in the south of the Imperial Hunting Grounds, and that several years ago, it spawned. There is a adolescent green dragon in its lair, so, so the rumor goes. Its body parts, its scales, its blood is worth a extremely large amount to apothecaries in the large cities. I need you to escort me there and to help me kill it and to bring it back. <laughs> and in exchange, oh, he's me dead. and my friends <laughs> will not turn you into the authorities. Uh, I, I, I turn backwards to, to Tyburn, um, and wave, call him over. over. Yeah, wave him over and uh, explain what the uh, what the gentleman here. Uh, I didn't catch the gentleman's name. What's this guy's name? You you didn't ask him his name. Uh, That's, his that was name me. Is... I just, I just, uh, well, okay. Sorry, okay. I, his I his name is Rorik. Rorik. Uh, the, uh, he, Ror Rorik has said to us. Um, I call him Huns Huntsman Rorik. Um. And. Uh, Asked, Did you asked just him wipe his opinion on the matter? Did you just? Oh no! I, I mean, all of you, you, you two, you all two of you, all two of you. It's actually throwing me off that your name is not your character's name, Bob. <laughs> I keep looking to. <laughs> uh. All right. So he's ex he's exposition dumped the situation to you. Kill the dragon. Going by? He wants to kill a dragon to pay off your debts. Hey, young. Right. Not, 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 not the dragon. The dragon spawn. Okay. There, is a, there is a newborn dragon. Out of unrelated interest, what color is Kavara? <laughs> she, it's just, uh, I don't remember. She's bronze. 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 bronze dragon. Well, that could have been an easy fix, but I guess done. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just kill Kamara and pass her off. <laughs> that, uh, unrelated that's, that's, oh, wow. What talking about. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wait, how much time has gone by? Since, uh, uh, well, uh, not much, because okay. all that happened was you left, uh, right. Artlex went up to leave, and he was stopped. Okay, okay. So this is currently going on. Uh, so what's to stop us, hypothetically, from killing you and hiding your body in a hole in the forest? I'm going to roll an intimidation check on this. You're going to roll an intimidation check. On oh, this. yeah. Go for it. And due to my, uh, due to my large stagger, and obvious magical influence on this and just because i'm wearing a staff and i and i obviously am a magic caster i think i should get advantage 
from this petty gambler that uh, obviously is in a bit of a bind. Uh, not, not, not gonna give you that on that. <laughs> No, <laughs> he, he. You're standing behind. You're like standing behind Midge, talk, uh, talk, talk, talking down, literally talking down to him, trying to look, look all big. Uh, he stands up quickly enough for the chair to uh, fall, fall behind him, and his other two mates do the same thing. And he says, "What's to stop me from killing you now?" You're gambling. Ah. That's <laughs> <laughs> your humongous amount of debt and. Uh... <laughs> Your apparent need of us. And the three heavily armed gentlemen standing right here. I have my own heavily armed gentlemen. Yeah, well, not, you don't need not us enough. To your problems, do you? No, that's not... <laughs> then why you need us to do with the dragon? He, he waves at his gentlemen and he says, they're not trained hunters, but you clearly know what you're doing with weapons. Well, therefore, your your point is just moot, mute that you just said that you've got trained gentlemen with you because... Okay, looks tricks. like we're going to do this the hard way, uh, then. Okay, oh, stopping, God. stopping, uh, because... You did say hypothetical. It. Yeah, hypothetical. Uh, as, fuck it, I'm casting sleep. And we're gonna... <laughs> just gonna put the whole bar to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do as much oh, as I can. Can I assist And we're you? going... <laughs> We're gonna, just, we're gonna run, wait, wait, we're gonna wait, wait, run wait, like wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hold on, hold on. You are How going to are cast sleep. How many people are in here? There are, uh, I, I believe I said about 12 patrons, these three guys, and the bartender. Okay. How, okay. Many, all how many, like, HP worth of dice can you roll? Well, I am a sorcerer, so if I wanted to, I could probably use my sorcerer's points to augment that uh, quite a bit. Um, what well, I'm trying well, to do, what I'm saying here, is I want to... I want to specifically target the area behind them because it's it's got a limited range. It's got a radius. Yeah, no, you have it's a, got a radii area. on it. So let me let me actually click this and see it's what 20 it is. Foot. 20 so feet. so just just so you know, the, the situation you're in is there's a table, four people are around it, the three guys in art locks, you're standing behind art locks. Everybody's in pretty close proximity right now. Okay. Uh, I mean, Bob, if Bob is still at the bar, he's at most eight or ten feet away. Okay, okay. so what? Right no, he, the, he are you in on this? Than, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're you're in it too. So so you guys are like flanking our locks. Okay, so where where are the two guys that? Where is his his two guys? Are they standing near? It's, it's a round. Him? It's a round table. It's a round table. Um, and it seats. Let's say it comfortably seats five people. It's gonna go this uh, hunter Ror huntress hunter Rorick, then Art Locks, then the two gentlemen. Okay. I'm going to kind of in a semi I'm going to target the I'm going to target the epicenter of the spell to an area uh just to the side of the table so that okay. the radii the radius uh catches the two arm and the two muscle and mm -hmm. the hunter and mm -hmm. not okay. overlap into us if you're gonna hit all, if you're gonna try to hit them, it's gonna hit our lot. Well, no, I'm saying it's like think about it like a circle, and I want to, uh, like, how do I how do I put this? Like, if he's sitting next to the guy, and these two, and these two guys are sitting. So, so you're trying to to get it into a point where the the circle curves like this and hits the the edges of the table, but just not where our locks. Is yes, sitting. exactly. So like that. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's exactly it. You can surely try. Well, yeah, I know I can try. It's <laughs> either that. Sleep. Yeah, it's either that or I kill them. Well, can, can you like I can... tap me to be like ready for it? Uh... Like, could you do it? And as you do it, like, so call look, me or the situation that just just happened. He threatened Rorik. Rorik stands up. The chair so falls plus down. Five to Rorik threatens him. Stop. R Rorik, Rorik threatened him and kind of did a partial turn like he was going to walk out the door. Just kind of, he didn't actually move. He just sort of turned a little bit. So this is all happening in like one, one and a half, two seconds. And suddenly Roach's pocket sand now. Well, it's either that or I kill him. And I'm currently debating on one of those two right now. Um, so, okay. That could be, that is gonna... actually, a sh no, 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 hold on. Someone is, uh. Because here's the thing, I could just kill him. Like useful. I could murder him, and then uh, I could just murder all three of them, and then uh, 
use that to our advantage because they were threatening us. Where's, where's the races? Where's and then the and then and then pop out of town before they get us. So, uh, so what are you gonna do? Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, I am going to. Uh, I'm looking through my spells because this is the first time I've. I can't be put to sleep, Roach. Reach, Roach. I can't be put to sleep by magic. I'm a half elf. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah, that is true. That is true. You did fucking well to put me to sleep last episode, then. Uh, <laughs> 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 We'll, we'll, we'll... Oh, and I ju just for future reference, I did look it up. Sleep spell is one minute per spellcaster level, so okay. it'd be uh, like three minutes. Right so now. three minutes was the was the actual time. Um, yeah, but we didn't guys, know that at the time, look, so we just worked it. Do they look uh, like the two muscle and the hunter? Do they look like pretty beefy? Like uh, are the two they, the, like... the two the two muscles are 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 large gentlemen. They look like they've been. Hi, they look like bouncers. Equate them uh, to the hunt how many Kavaras they are. Are they like 0.5 Kavara? <laughs> like, or... like 0.6. Like 0.6 Kavara. Okay. All right. That gives me a basis. Um, the hunter is, he's, he's probably about five, he's about 5'10". Five, um, he's, he's not built, but you can tell that there's muscle underneath. He, they, he, he has the title, he, he were in, in, you know, introduced himself as Hunter Rorick. Like it was a official title. So you think that even that he is honest about being a hunter, and he was also honest about not being a good one. Okay. Okay. Uh. All right. So what's going to happen is uh, what's going to happen. All right. What's going to happen? Is... <laughs> you can tell me what you're going to do. Yeah. I'm, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm. I'm looking through the spells. I was trying to do that. Okay. So what's going to happen is uh, is he's going to get up. Like he, like he's, he looks like he just got up, right, and mm -hmm. started turning. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna back, I'm gonna like take a like a half step back, and like kind of loudly say, so it's audible to everyone else. How dare you say that about my daughter? And now I'm going to cast acid splash at him. So, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, roll. <laughs> okay, me... we're doing this. All right. Acid Plausible deniability. That's all we need. Plausible deniability. Pearl Bobble of Acid, choose one creature within range. So you're choosing Hunter Rorik. Yes, but I'm also casting this with one sorcery point to cast a doubled spell, which means I can, means I basically cast two of these at the same time. And I target so you're gonna one. Do, I so I'm you're target, target Rorik. I'm going to target Rourke, and I'm going to target the, uh, I'm going to target the muscle, uh, and, and because since the muscle... they are within five feet, so you can you can target them both. Exactly. So you're going to try to hit all three. Yes, I'm targeting all three with this, and what they uh, need to okay. do is they must succeed a Dex saving throw, uh, equivalent to my uh, spell save DC, or take one D6 acid damage. Uh, what's your spell DC? Uh, sa spell save DC thirteen. They they all saved. Every single one of them got the save. Well, okay, I still got the line out there, so nobody's gonna. So, so I mean, this is a rough and tumble area. So they're gonna hopefully, hopefully they're gonna. I, I've just me. got like the envision like envisioning of torso so now. Everyone's you, gonna start fighting. You conjure this. Uh, you kind of conjure this this uh, bauble of acid, and um, that you move. You, t you kind of rip your hands apart. It, it, it turns into two smaller ones, and you. Use both hands simultaneously to throw one at Rorik and one at the other two gentlemen. Rorik sees this coming and just shields his face with his with his uh, with his arm. The bubble hits kind of his elbow, which is all clad in leather, and the leather starts to sizzle. And the other two gentlemen, they one one goes this way and one goes this way, <laughs> and the bubble just goes between them. By the way, uh, by the way, just so we can establish this, uh, so it's not arbitrary. With the uh, with the uh, the uh, wild magic thing, can we just make it a can we just make it a percentile die, and if it's in the top yes. ten percentile, then it triggers. Yes, yes. That way, or if you want to roll a d10, whatever that yes. is. Yes, and it's whenever it's whenever you cast a spell, right? Uh, yes. Okay. 